Hey guys, Steve here at Steve SoCal BNSF N Scale Layout. Doing a quick video just to kind of give you an idea on how trains operate on my layout. I don't have an actual track plan and a lot of my videos are short, so I figured I'd do one where you could actually kind of see full operation of uh, a train going around the layout start to finish. Um, the train actually takes a, almost six minutes at this speed, which is a speed setting of four to um, pass the entire layout from start to finish. And that's without throwing any switches or anything right now. So um, without further ado, let's follow this guy around. This is a SD60. Um, obviously needs a light shield because it's got a huge amount of light coming out of there. So until I can get that fixed or replaced, I've been using him to just kind of keep my track clean. He's got some a bunch of track cleaners there behind him. Uh, two of the um, Ro Rocco cars with pads and then a couple others with the, the dusters. So I like it. It actually does a pretty good job keeping the track clean. Um, definitely a lot easier going through all these tunnels and things like that, picking up dust and things like that that would normally accumulate. So anyway, um, train is actually going through uh, first tunnel and then it's going to start making its climb up to uh, my impression of Cajon Pass. Um, obviously Cajon Pass, the real one, doesn't have all the tunnels anymore and probably is a lot lighter in scenery I would say. I'll probably need a lot more. I think I got a little too much green in, the, in my colors here but for now it works. Um, this layout originally started um, as very small and it's just kind of grown and grown and grown a little sections added on here and there so for now it works uh, and eventually I'll probably expand it or maybe when next time I move I'll just start from scratch and do a, a really nice layout that I can actually map out ahead of time so um, the trains passing through one of many tunnels you get a little bit of a preview there it'll go back into another tunnel um, and come through a couple more tunnels Scenery is kind of done for the most part there. A little bit more details here and there. I think I need to add a lot more trees still. Obviously, I need to add background back there. That uh, Get rid of that ugly white wall and my sprinklers I need to relocate. So it's kind of like one of the last areas I still need to put backgrounds up on that wall. Um, the train is actually now making a circle back. And it will be pretty much running parallel to the blue background right now descending through from the mountains and coming back down to um, get ready to run through my city or industry areas. So you'll see it come out here any minute. Got that little strip mall placed there. Don't know if I'm going to keep it there or not. I bought those on eBay. I think they're a little bit small compared to the rest of the N-Scale buildings. So I've kind of got them there just uh, for placement right now. I might leave them there because they are a little bit smaller. So It'll give that effect that they're in the distance and then also got some trains running behind it, obviously. Uh, I've got a little bit more background to put up here for now. i got my um, um, graffiti wall or whatever you want to call it. I've basically just been putting, um, made a little wall out of all the business cards that I get on stuff from eBay that people like to throw in there. So my way of saying thanks. I uh, did relocate that pipe finally. so. That won't be in the background there anymore. Trains coming through um, one of my favorite industries, the grain elevator. And this industry down here, these industries, um, now it's in a double siding. One of, the, one of two sidings. And then there's also, or I'm sorry, double main, and then there's also two sidings. I haven't finished all the scenery through here. Don't know how I'm going to do the rest of this just yet. But um, I might do a small partition between those buildings and the yard. Um, or I might just leave it, you know, maybe try to block it with buildings. So, another area of working on scenery and future more industry down here. This will probably be um, some type of chemical company or um, industry. And then this is probably going to be a, uh, a, like a distribution center for trucks. I have a quite a few semis I bought on eBay. So now the train's going back through. Um, it's still double main here. 
it's going to basically pass under the mountains. This double main is basically just goes underneath the mountains, doesn't cross any other tracks. It just runs um, underneath the mountains. Um, basically, it's running right under there right now, as you can hear it. And then it'll come back around to the yard. So, uh, this is a engine facility I got off eBay. Really like it. I added that to the uh, the layout. I just haven't really done the tracks through here yet. Um, I'm probably gonna have maybe a double um, main through the track on that portion of wood that's left over, and then. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe you have some spurs coming out to this engine facility. So, anyway, the tracks train's coming back almost around full circle now. This is uh, going on almost six minutes. Uh, as you can see, I still got a couple little bugs to work out of the track. Those little blue pieces of tape are my indicators on where I need to either um, solder or remove the insulated track joiners, which are causing some issues for DCC right now. Um, I did find that some of the insulated track joiners elevate the track a little bit, and so it's not a flush joint. Um, just one of those things you learn as you go. This layout originally was modeled for DC, block DC, and I converted to DCC, so uh, a little bit of um, things I need to remove out of the track to make it run better right now just as uh, um, as I learned with DCC um, but overall running a lot better when I first switched I had um, quite a few issues and uh, definitely uh, it, it's getting better and I'm definitely having more fun running with DCC because now I can run uh, two trains at a time probably even more if I wanted to it's just probably a little, I don't have enough hands so anyway that's about it for now. I'll, I'll try to keep more videos coming. And uh, again, um, just a quick tutorial of my layout, how it's operated. And um, here's my, for now, I forgot to show you guys this. Here's my DCC throttle and my programming track. I just kind of have it right there built into the frame underneath. So. Um, again, it's, um, uh, it's getting there. It's definitely messy in here, but, uh, uh, and I apologize for the mess on the way out, but it, it is what it is. See ya.